So, uh, with the network situation being what it is, could we perhaps ask Holland America next year to bring one of their tier one staff, technical staff, and send them on a vacation with us? <laughs> yes, because I'm sure we would have a fun, easy vacation. <laughs> Great vacation of restarting the router. Well, and generally, Drew will speak to the specifics. We actually have terrific people here in Shoreside. Terrific. There are limitations within their larger IT infrastructure, but Drew will speak to that. Yeah, this turns out that this is a very non standard crowd for internet usage. Um, and as you guys have seen, uh, deploying something on a, a ship's a highly like manicured internal network is a complicated endeavor um, fraught with peril. So we continue to, uh, to apply these uncharted waters with our uh, requests that baffle the non-technical people who we tend to work with most of the time. But I don't. I mean, it's. Yeah, there are parts of it that are like kind of very hard to change. And so we'll, we'll, we definitely will ask for more support after this year. There, we're going to have a lot of questions from Holland to corporate because they've been pretty much, I believe that someone in their office has been working on this 24-7. And it, it also is the kind of thing where, you know, you, you say, in the corporate office, you say the internet usage is going to be off the charts. And they're like, yeah, 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 don't worry about it, you know, because they don't understand who you, who you people are. But then once <laughs> once they've seen once they've seen what you can do, it's easier to go back and say, well, here are the specific ways that we can address the issue. So you know, hopefully next year there will be more we'll be a little more prepared because we know we've already seen what it, they've already seen exactly what it looks like, exactly where uh, the infrastructure fails to meet the need. But we're about twelve hundred percent of what they normally get. <laughs> And we have a we actually have a Scotty here on board with us whose name is Jose, and he is the one who actually knows how this ship's systems work, and he has been working like 16-hour days going through the equivalents of the tubes uh, of the ship to to uh, to get all the dribbles out. Yeah, of he's, he's crawling through the Jeffrey's tubes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you had a follow-up. Well, no, so my understanding was that they were having my understanding was they were having some uh, authorization. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I spoke with some of the, some of the Twitter guys who, who were like, well, we had to see with that different stuff at one point earlier this week because they couldn't get permission to pull or make changes on the network. And so that, that was where, where my request kind of came up. Can we get someone with a little higher overall authorization? Yeah, we can, we can try, but I mean, it's sort of like the way that even though we're chartering the ship, there are you know major constraints on the itinerary based on fuel and the captain's considerations and safety. Um, like a ship is a large thing that's hard to move, and a, the cruise line corporation that's part of a larger um, a, like conglomeration of cru cruise line corporations has certain rules um, that you know some yeah that may not I mean, be. It's a, it's a corporate environment. Like, it's a yeah. large, complicated system, and it's not you know it's not like. Can't just go into Amazon and change things up either. Right. Yeah. And, and that said, at my understanding, as a layperson, but still, the issues we faced in the first two days, it wasn't a question of getting authorization from people at Shoreside. It was a question of they had to deal with issues on Shoreside, and it was a Saturday and a Sunday, so there was nobody in the office. So even if we had an important person here on the ship, there was nobody to answer the phone. And then, yeah. And all that said, it was literally the first meeting we had with them over a year ago was was this. They worked with us. And for sure, they want us all to be happy, and they know that the technology and internet is an important thing to us. Twitter is important to us, so that they, they want to help us, but there's a lot of other machinery attached to delivering for us. We'll continue to work with them.